Within a strict schedule, Vietnam has set a strategic goal to become the year 2045. This year marks the centenary of the founding of the Republic. In 2045, Vietnam will become a strong, prosperous, democratic and modern country. It sets the timetable pledged by Vietnam in Hanoi in 2025. Vietnam is a developing country with a modernity-oriented industry. In this video, we will show about current and future mega projects in Vietnam. But first, subscribe to the channel and press the bell. Vietnam has great potential for offshore wind energy. Vietnam issued a National Energy Development Plan. The plan includes 35 potential offshore wind projects. Vietnam has set a target of reaching 30 gigawatts to 50 gigawatts of installed offshore wind capacity by 2030. And 21 gigawatts by 2045. It is working to create a mechanism for the procurement of offshore wind energy. Activating the market and overcoming the lack of supervision and technical standards. In relation to offshore wind energy production, installation, operation and maintenance. Long coastline. Good wind resources and shallow sea water make Vietnam the best in Southeast Asia. Vietnam plans to prioritize investment and construction of 25 major highway projects in the next five years. A highway network will be formed. It connects economic and political centers, major economic regions, seaports and international airports. It will build a highway with a length of about 5,000 kilometers. It is estimated that by 2030, the investment demand in the road network will reach about 39.1 billion US dollars. Vietnam strives to have 9,000 kilometers of highways by 2050. By 2030, Vietnam is expected to have 172 highways. Forward Engineering Design Services approved for a new nuclear power plant. With an annual production of 3.2 gigawatts in Ba Klu province in the Mekong Delta. It is located about 250 kilometers south of Ho Chi Minh City. The station is powered by liquefied natural gas. It will be the country's first private power plant. It can power 32 million homes and start the manufacturing process in the region. The station consists of four single axle units. The use of Class H gas turbine technology. In doing so, it will become the energy pillar of the Mekong Delta. It creates great job and training opportunities. In 2021, construction of the first phase of the Long Cheng International Airport project in Vietnam began. Long Cheng International Airport will become the largest airport in Vietnam. It is an important airport for the international aviation hub in Southeast Asia. The whole project of Long Cheng International Airport covers an area of 5,000 hectares. The planned area around the airport is about 21,000 hectares. With a total investment of about 14.6 billion US dollars, the airport is designed with four runways four terminal buildings and other additional facilities. The first phase of the project will be completed and put into operation in 2025. It is expected to receive 25 million passengers each year. It is estimated that by 2040, Long Cheng International Airport will be able to handle 100 million passengers. It transports 5 million tons of cargo every year. It is expected to become the largest airport in Vietnam and a cargo hub in Southeast Asia. Once the project is complete and running, it will contribute 3 to 5% to Vietnam's GDP growth. The 7 gigawatts plant plan will start at the end of 2020. The Vietnamese government approved the project in March 2021. Chinese PV module manufacturer Jinko Solar has started building a silicon alloy wafer manufacturing plant. Worth $500 million in the coastal economic zone. The plant is expected to start manufacturing operations within six months. Provides services to the battery assembly plant and company units. Vietnam plans to invest a lot of money in the next stage. 
you will create a world-class port. It plans to invest approximately 600 million US dollars to 8 billion US dollars in the next phase of port development by 2030. This includes the detailed development of ports, docks, buoys, water and water and the development of land and water ports. Vietnam has the capacity to receive up to 132,000 tons of container ships at Law and Wharf, Hai Phuong, and up to 214,000 tons of container ships at Kime Wharf. The aim of developing the port is to increase the annual cargo volume of Vietnam to 114 to 142 million tons. Emphasis will be placed on developing the Haiphong and Kime ports. Vietnam also plans to invest in the Central Economic Zone. As part of its efforts to develop major ports and assemblies that can accommodate large container ships. Expected to be completed in 2025. The PV project in Vietnam will be established in the Song Khoai Economic Zone, on an area of 32.6 hectares, as the project belongs to the field of processing and manufacturing. It has been included in the list of priority industrial support products for local development. The project is the first investment project to land in the coastal economic zone. The project is scheduled to be completed by the end of October 2021. It is estimated that its annual income will reach nearly 1.3 billion US dollars. It will create more than 2,000 jobs for local workers. Vietnam plans to plan two high-speed railways, 350 km per hour. From Hanoi to Vinh City and from Ho Chi Minh City to Nha Trang, its length is 651 km. Seven new railways will be built. By 2030. Investment in railways will reach 665 trillion VND. To meet the transport demand of 16.5 million tons of cargo and 30.9 million passengers. By 2050, cargo volume will increase by 15% and passenger volume will increase by 19%. Work on the second subway line in Saigon is expected to begin in mid-2022. This line is one of eight subway lines. The city is planned with a total length of 220 kilometers. The land leveling works for the project will be completed in 2022. The first phase is scheduled to be completed in 2026. It will carry 140,000 passengers per day. The project cost is estimated at 25 billion US dollars. Which of these projects do you think is the best in Vietnam? And here we come to the end of the video. Share the video and subscribe to the channel.